How you doing, pupils of Bill High School? It's Mr Lombard here. I uh, thought I'd just run through a little workout that you can do. Um, I'm obviously outside, you can do it inside. You don't need any equipment, it's just body weight. You need a very small amount of space, as you'll see. Feel free to get anyone else, family members, or anyone else that lives with you at home who's in the house. Feel free to get them to join in. Uh, things to consider, if you've got any ankle issues, like joint issues, ankle, knee, uh, hip, even back, you, you might want to avoid this one, uh, this session, because there's a little bit of impact to it. Uh, don't work yourself too hard, obviously you know your limits, um, you know, so don't push too hard, you can build it up as you go. So, right, that's gonna get, I'll bring some water out as well. Um, if you've got any medication you need, asthma pumps, things like that, obviously have those at hand as well. Right, so we'll start with a warm up that you'd be familiar with from, um, from school. So we'll start with a, a, a pulse raiser and a body temperature elevator. Probably only take like, about three minutes to do this warm up. It's a bit windy today, so hopefully you can hear me. So I just said, just some jump jacks. We're going to a little bit higher knees as well, just to get the, the temperature of your body up and your heart rate up as well. Back to your jump jacks. Back into the high knees again. Jump jacks again. And high knees one more time. This should be getting our heart rate up a little bit and getting a little bit warmer. Okay, so next thing we'll go for. Um, our joint mobiliser and our dynamic stretches. So we'll start from the top, just neck side to side. Into shoulder circles. Go backwards. And forwards. Arm swings. Rotations. And then open the game spot. So again, just mobilising all our joints up in the shoulders, in the back, close the gate, and now obviously in the hips. So we're freeing up all those joints as well as stretching all those muscles in a dynamic way. So front shoulder, back shoulder, your deltoids, your pectorals, all the muscles of your back, trapezius, rhomboids, latissimus dorsi, all those muscles, uh, lower back as well on the rotations. So yeah, getting a stretch and everything, inner thighs, outer thighs, gluteals as well. Um, if you're not sure of those muscle groups as well, you can go do some homework, okay, and you can research them. Okay, next one, we'll just do a little bit of butt kicks, just on the spot, just to again, mobilize our knee joints and dynamically stretch our quadriceps at the front as our heels coming back and obviously engaging our hamstrings at the same time as our heels coming back. Uh, wrists, interlock your fingers, just do circles, ankles, you can spell your name with your feet, your toes if you like. Actually both both ways, other one as well. And again, that will just mobilise your ankle joint and dynamically stretch the muscle at the front of your shin, which is your tibialis anterior, and also getting a bit of a dynamic stretch on your gastric nemus as well, your calf muscles. Okay, so from there we're going to a little bit of a static stretch. We'll start at the top again, hand into a fist, fist into your chest, and just round your back. Get a stretch, stretch on all the muscles of your, your back as well as your triceps at the back of your arms, your upper arm. Hold about 10 seconds. Chest, arms straight, 
behind. And so we're going to stretch all of your fronts of your deltoids, your anterior deltoids, your pectorals, your chest muscles. And we're going to get a little bit of a bicep stretch here as well. The muscles on the front of your upper arm. So about 10 seconds. Straight up. Breathe in as well. And out, and that's just going to stretch the muscles of your, your stomach, your abdominals, and into the lower body. So quadriceps stretch, knees together, hips forward. If you're struggling with your balance, put your finger in your ear. And then we'll change to the other. Again, knees together, hips forward. Okay, then into the hamstrings, front leg straight. Rear leg bent, weight on the bent leg, hands on the bent leg, chin up, chest up, bum out, and then toe up. And then that will, set, that will stretch your hamstrings as well as your calves. And we'll change to the other side. Front leg straight, rear leg bent, weight on the rear leg, hands on the rear leg, chin up, chest up, bum out, toe up. And obviously leaning forwards whilst maintaining that posture. And there you go. Okay, so there's a warm up. If you need a drink, you can have a drink. What we'll do now is we'll actually work at the, the, the real effort part of the workout. Okay, so three exercises. We'll start with 30 seconds. So you're gonna do 30 seconds on each exercise with about five seconds in between. I'm just gonna run through the exercise, do the first round with you, and then we'll talk a little bit about it. It's going to be very, very good for your muscular endurance, okay, and your cardiovascular endurance as well. So cardiovascular endurance, you know, the ability of your, your heart, okay, and all of those blood vessels to be pumping that oxygenated blood round to the working muscles, okay, it's going to improve that, um, as well as the muscular endurance scale, which is the ability of your muscles to produce that same action, that same movement again and again and again over time. Okay, so that's what it's going to help with. Uh, so first one, really simple, we're going to go for split jumps, so you've got your opposite arm and leg forward, okay, and then you'll just jump and switch, okay, so we'll do this for 30 seconds, just reset the stopwatch, and we are in, let's go. So again, if you've just got a stopwatch with you, that's what you can use. I'm going to stay with you on the first round of this. I hope you can hear me, it's windy. How long is that? 18 seconds. Keep your breathing going. So it's opposite arm and leg forwards. And that's 30 seconds, yep. Yeah? About five seconds in between. All we're gonna do now is lateral hops, and let's start. So you start on one leg and switch to the other. Side, 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 side. There we go. Again, you can change the tempo up, okay, if you're a little bit fitter, okay, or you can slow it down as well. So manage it in terms of how fit you are, again, it's opposite arm and leg forward here, here, and almost there, and that's it. 30 seconds, about five seconds, and last one we'll go for burpees, and we're in. So jump out, in, up. Keep your breathing going. And again, manage your tempo. How quickly you do it. And one more. Okay. You can have a drink. And then what you do, 
that you'd have. Whew. About a minute's rest, and then you can repeat that. I would say do it, repeat it three times, and as you get fitter, four times, and so on. Another way you can make it harder as well is to increase how much time you do each station for. So, we did 30 seconds there. All you can do is you can build it up to 40 seconds, 50 seconds, and so on. And I should be standing up at the moment, really, because I can't get any oxygen down here. So, I'll stand up. Whew. There we go. That's better. Shouldn't have sat down. So, as I was saying, yeah, you can increase the amount of time that you work for. So, that was 30 seconds. Three sets of 30 seconds with a minute in between each round. So, you go split jumps into lateral hops into burpees. Then have a minute's rest. Then repeat it again, maybe twice, three times depending. Okay, don't push it too hard. And again, as I said a second ago, you can also increase the time if you want to make it harder. 30 seconds to 35 to 40 and so on. What you can also do is lateral hops and then split jumps or any order you like, just to keep it fresh, keep it feeling a little bit new, okay? You could do that three times a week, and then at some point, I'll come back on again, and I'll come through a different workout with you, okay? As a cool down, after you've done that, see, I'm not gonna do another round with you, I just want to show, because then you can go and do as many rounds for as long as you need to, uh, you can do it yourself. So, as a cool down after you've finished, first thing to do, once you're done, just wander around, just don't stand still. Okay, so don't do what I just did there, stand still and talk, okay? Just wander about, shake out your arms and legs. And that will just flush out any lactic acid that's built up. Once you've done that, you can go through those stretches, okay? The same stretches you did at the start, okay? Those static stretches, so I'll go through them again. You've got your chest stretch, again, hold for about 10 seconds. So your back stretch, not your chest stretch. Okay, hands for fist, fist into chest, point your elbows forward, stretch the back. Now your chest stretch, arms behind, chin up, chest up. Stretching the chest and the front of the shoulders. Straight up, breathe in, stretch out the abs. Okay, quadriceps again, so Knees together, hips forward. And so stretch all down the quadriceps, muscle in front of your leg. Same thing on the other side. Knees together, hip forward. Okay, and then hamstrings and calves again. Front leg straight, rear leg bent. Chin up, chest up, bum out, lean forward, toe up as well, okay? change, front leg straight, rear leg bent, hand on the bent leg, weight on the bent leg, chin up, chest up, toe up, get your bum out, and obviously leaning forward to get that stretch. Okay, and there we go. And don't forget, there is also some bits on Moodle, okay, so for you to do some written work, some PE written work, uh, and any of the terms that I've gone through today, that you might not know, obviously I've explained some of them, you know, a little bit of homework, a bit of research, get online and look up what those terms are, okay, if you're unsure of any of them. All right, Mr. Lombard signing out, see you in a bit.